Okay, so we are going to work on our Pixlr assignment. So I just call this assignment Pixlr. So uh, to name it, just first name dot last name underscore Pixlr. Well, first of all, you're going to come up with a plan for um, an image that you're going to compose in Pixlr. So I want you to plan it out. Um, anything that's uh, acceptable and okay for schoolwork, uh, you can do. So you have a lot of freedom with this assignment. So have fun with it. You just need to incorporate three or more layers and you need to save it as a PXD file. And what uh, or why I ask you to do that is that you, um, that's the only way that I'm gonna be able to see the layers in your file. So again, remember and think about those layers and how they are going to stack on top of each other and work together to create your image. Um, and all you need is three or more, but you can do more if you would like. And you can uh, experiment and play with as many tools or filters as you would like. Um, the more you know and you learn about Pixlr, uh, it will help in our final project for this unit, which is the next assignment that we're going to work on. So let's get right to it. So go and open up a browser. You need to have Pixlr open. So pixlr.com forward slash e forward slash. That's the advanced Pixlr or photo editor. And then go to bing.com. So you need to search for images online. Let's use Bing because uh, I am going to show you how to search for images properly um, and that have the correct licenses for you to be able to use them. So Bing allows you to do that. Google uh, used to, but here recently I've noticed it's a lot more complicated. So you're going to remember in Pixlr that you can open an image, so you can have files on your computer, or you can load them just via the URL. And I'm gonna show you how to do both. For this assignment, you need three or more images, remember? And so uh, I always just use a cat. I don't know why, I just always do. I'm a dog fan myself, but uh, cat. I'm gonna search for cat, then we're gonna click on images. And then look over here under filter, click on it, and choose license, free to modify, share, and use. So um, I'm going to choose a, an image. Um, let's just choose this image right here. So let's um, look at this. This is the thumbnail. And, but we do not want to save the thumbnail image because it's not as large as our full size image that is listed here. So we're gonna click more and go to view image. And then as you can see, that's a nicer, uh, higher resolution image. So this is a feral cat, meaning it's a wild cat. Maybe that's why I like it. Um, anyway, so um, this is the URL for that particular image. And then you can also right click and save the image to your local computer by right clicking and saving the image. Uh, save image as. I am going to show you in this demo how to copy and paste the URL and bring it in. And that way you don't even have to technically save it to your computer until you have the PXD file. So this is going to be my background image. We're going to load the URL for this image and this will serve as our background. So there you go. We brought it in as a URL. So let's say, what does this cat, what might this cat need? So again, we're gonna to go to Bing. Um, I don't know, a cape. Cape might not be a great choice because they're all uh, vertical. Here, how about this? A flying cape. I wonder if we'll get many results on that one. Yeah, we did. So, uh, 
some of these don't even look like capes to me but in any case we're going to choose this cape right here uh, i like this cape because it actually has a transparent transparent background as well so that is cool and will be useful uh, it's also not super large so that might actually be a little too small but i'm gonna for the purpose of this demo i'm going to choose it and uh, again i'm copying this whole url up here so the shortcuts for this would be control a right select everything then control c but when we come to pixlr we're going to go to layer because we already have a background layer so we're bringing in a second layer this is the background you can even name it something double click on the lock and then you can name it yeah there you go you can rename it if you want to so cat so you can know what everything is right you can stay organized go to layer uh, to bring in a second layer which is our cape and we're going to add it as a url again you can add it as an image if you have them on your local computer we're going to paste that in there and load it and there is a cape so we can kind of rotate this uh, we can make it larger but when you uh, make something larger it might uh, lose resolution so that could be an issue at times all right so we got a cape and then we need uh, now that it's got a cape but let's get it a, let's get a mask and i'm going to be very descriptive a hero mask yeah. How about this one? Copy it, uh, bring it in as a layer. Now we have the white background, so you can't see behind it. Let me show you this tool that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of your backgrounds may have a uh, white background so select um, the wand select click on the white area and then press delete so I had to do that three times whoops and then uh, deselect this select deselect so or control D so control D deselects it that's the shortcut for it That's a pretty good mask. That worked out pretty nice, didn't it? So now we have a superhero cat. So we have three layers, right? And we can name it. So this is the uh, mask. This is the cape. And we have the cat background as well. So we have at least three images. So this counts. So go file, save. We're going to save it as a PXD. That means that it's going to save all the layers and keep them intact, which is very important for this. First name dot last name underscore pixel. And we're going to download it. Okay, so download your checklist in CTLS. Make sure everything is on uh, is on your on the checklist is completed. Um, name it properly. Remember to save it as a PXD and then upload your completed image to CTLS 